Hi, my name is Patrick. I make tutorial videos on bare chip microcontroller programming, circuit building, and CNC related subjects. This is another video in the ARM microcontroller series. We are currently on the subject of serial communication, but I'll be introducing a concept of interrupts, which is a way of controlling program flow used in every feature of the microcontroller, not just serial communication. Interrupts are probably the most important feature of microcontrollers. An interrupt will stop the main code from processing and switch over to a function that is responsible for the interrupt. When the interrupt function completes its task, the main code continues from where it left off. Let's pretend that I am the standard program flow which is the code in the main function. And each word that I speak is a piece of code in the never ending while loop. <laughs> My wife here is obviously the interrupt function. Her only responsibility is stopping me from processing or talking and for her to process a few lines of code. In this scenario, she is responsible for receiving characters on the Rx line. For each character that is on the Rx line that reaches the Rx buffer, the main code, me, will stop and her code will automatically begin. Once she has received the character from the Rx buffer, She can store it in a variable, so I, the main code, can use that variable in some way. <laughs> you need to be really careful with the code that you add to the interrupt function. In the scenario just shown where my wife serves as the interrupt function, the function simply reads the character in the Rx buffer and adds that character into the global variable. The global variable would be something like an array or a pointer that stores all of the received characters, at least the ones that haven't been used so far by the main code. The code that stores the characters can be as little as a single line of code inside of the interrupt function. Remember that the interrupt function only fires if there's a character in the Rx buffer, so you are ready to read that character immediately. You don't want to add a lot of code to the interrupt function. In the interrupt function, you may be tempted to take the character and send it out to a terminal, or worse, add it to an LCD, which is super slow. Here's an example of what could happen if the interrupt function tries to take the character and put it on an LCD. The lines of code to get a character on an LCD is not few. And if you have my book, you would know that because I teach you how to communicate with the LCD. So the time it takes to process that amount of code and that the LCD requires a lot of wait time to communicate to it, you could miss characters coming in on the Rx line that's coming into the Rx buffer. Instead, let the main code handle the slow stuff. You can be assured that no characters will be missed if you simply add the characters to a global variable that can be accessed by the main code. I talked about polling in previous videos on my channel and in my book. So if you've watched those videos or read that section of the book and tried the projects, you can see how much better interrupts can be. Can you imagine not using an interrupt routine and the main code having to wait for the Rx buffer to be full? The time it takes for a character to be received by the Rx buffer could be a long time if the characters are produced by a human on a computer or a terminal. We would never know when a character would be sent to the microcontroller. This would be a problem with using the polling technique. Your main code can handle a lot of different tasks and when an interrupt happens for whatever the interrupt calls for, your main code can be swimming along freely doing its thing. But in the polling technique, it's just waiting for that character to be received by the Rx buffer. So let's talk about what types of interrupts you have. 
In the next video, I will be demonstrating receiving characters on the Rx line of the USART, which is one of the many types of interrupts you can use. If you have no idea what I just said, watch my last set of videos in this series. Get it? Series? Serial communication? The types of interrupts you have for microcontrollers spans the breadth of features in the microcontroller. That is to say, if the feature exists in the microcontroller, it probably has an interrupt for it. How do you access these interrupts or make them work? I'll go over this in more detail in later videos, but they're called interrupt vectors, which is just saying the location in the microcontroller that you can access the interrupt. It's like an address. With the microcontroller that I'm using in this series, the interrupt types include signals from external pins of the microcontroller, microcontroller exceptions, where you may need to handle an issue that your program is having, your own self-created interrupts, the independent watchdog for program robustness, timer interrupts, including the system timer, real-time clock, and all of the specific timers in your microcontroller. This can even be associated with features like PWM signals, infrared remote sensing, which is actually related to timers, and the many other ways you may want to configure your timers. Communication interrupts, including USART, which is Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receive and Transmit, which is what I've been talking about in the last several videos, SPI, which is Serial Peripheral Interface, I2C or IIC, which is Inter-Integrated Circuits, which we'll be getting into later, and others, if your microcontroller has those communication features, such as CAN, which is Control Area Network, and USB, for example. ADC, Analog to Digital Converter, where the interrupt fires when the microcontroller completes a conversion from an analog signal, say 0 to 3.3 volts, and converts it to a number to, say, 0 to 1023. This is how many sensors will be set up in this series. You can have an interrupt trigger for almost anything you need in your program. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming. I don't use setups like Arduino. I teach so you can produce from the ground up using only the chip, enabling you to create lean, efficient, and cost-effective products that can do anything microcontrollers can do, from automotive ECU applications to robotics to full-on AI and machine learning. Remember, you can get kits from newbiehack.com. The link is in the description. So you can follow along with the videos in this series. This really helps me keep these videos paid for and makes the time creating these videos worth it. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to all of you that have purchased the book and those that have purchased the kits. Get to a, a particular location. Have it like this. Get okay. to a particular location behind me, mm -hmm. right? And you're gonna hit me as hard as you can. How? Be behind me. So you can get a good whack at me. Not all the way there. All right, um, hold on, extend out your hand and pretend you're gonna hit me, and uh, almost hit me on the side of the head. That's going down. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It needs to be like yeah, this? I think okay, so. Yeah, very, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Very, I, I don't wanna hit your glasses. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> you didn't hit me hard enough. That is as much as I'm gonna No, get. you need to go much harder. Okay, can I do it this side, this way? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you have to like really look like you're doing it and really hitting me. Okay. You know? Like you have to uh, like do it really okay. hard, okay? You're not even scratching the surface okay. here. All right, all right, go. All right, hold on. <laughs> and you're not hitting me. All right. <laughs> all right, ready? Uh-huh. Let's pretend I am the standard program flow. <laughs> honey, honey, you have to hit me when I'm saying flow. <laughs> flow. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. But, you ha but honey, you have to stay, stay at your place because I have to continue on. Oh, so I'm going to have to stand on here. Oh, you're going to do it many times. The code in the main function, main, after main function, 
You're gonna do, hit it, hit me again. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> do I hit you in the same side? Or should I alternate? A loop. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna... Wait. Ability. Ability. Alright, I'm gonna stop, just stop with that. I'm gonna do some editing and see how that turns out, okay? <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> but you have to face the camera. Okay. The whole time. Oh, the whole time? Uh huh. Okay, go. And you have to be smiling. <laughs> um. Let's pretend that I am the standard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> get in, get in, get in okay. character. <laughs> flow. Honey, you have to be in... Can you see the camera? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> not, not a good hit. <laughs> oh. That was weird. <laughs> and... Honey, you're so bad at, at okay. aiming. <laughs> Holy crap. I told you. No, that's good, that's good. All right. Beak. <laughs> oh. Word that I speak. They're good for ending while loop. <laughs> while loop. <laughs> My ear is starting to hurt now. All right. Ability. It's ability. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, you're not done. Not even close. Er. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. But we'll do it a little faster. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> right? <laughs> a, little, a little more than that. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Her. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Her. That's perfect. Scenario. All right, I'm gonna get this thing going back I up. My <laughs> That's gonna be a good one. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Do it a little bit softer. Th these these new ones, okay? Okay. Oh, sorry. It's all right. All right. It's on the RX line. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> Let's do it again. It's on the RX line. Line. A little bit too too early, I think. All right, let's try it again. I do like this. And that's it. Like move you with this. Try it with one hand this time. All right, RX line. All right, that's good. Line that reaches. All right, that was a little early. The RX buffer. Automatically <laughs> begin. All right, good. Where is my next hit? RX buffer. Good. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Some way. <laughs> <laughs> that's good.